Yeah, I think what I want to do first is I think I actually want to look at um, the Board State podcast and see what promos they were looking for and see if Jasco delivered that they hit the mark. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a little more React Randy content. I think, I think we're going to watch some board state just to see what they wanted for our promos, I guess. See what they were predicting. Get it rocking. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to episode three of the Board State Podcast. With let me know uh, a monkey and Andre or whatever. Uh, let me know the volume, guys. From week one, Sam, how are you doing, man? I'm you know good. it's too really, long. Really good. Uh, had a good week in card games. Um, been making set four decks. I just dropped five hundred dollars finishing my one piece stuff. Um. Yeah, Res Sorry, guys. I'm just here for the promos. Kind of low. Okay. Of all the like secret rares, and I got uh, four copies of all the promos, and I got four copies of just like a thousand bad cards that I'll never play ever. But as a content creator, I have to have. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's look for what they're looking for. Uh, not a clan that I'm willing to fight you on, because <laughs> it's certainly yeah. not been me. <laughs> And, and and continue on my my fanboying over a certain deck for the League of Villains regional season. Shigaraki three should just be the entry promo. The, my, <laughs> it was the first thing I put on my list. Yeah, okay. yeah. Shigaraki three should just be the entry promo. Okay, so we did we didn't end up with Shigaraki, so that's let's make a note. Let's make a note in chat. Shigaraki three as the entry promo because that's the like the participation character that everyone got they had some pretty good choices overall last year i think you know we hit todoroki jiro super popular characters so that one did pretty good um so that's a pretty that's a pretty good guess shigaraki 3 for the participation promo he should it should just be him so yeah, that is a uh, that is how I feel. I, the, the the other one that I had and I put on here was uh, Shigaraki one, okay. just because like reprinting that character would be cool. Um, you can't get Shigaraki. You can already get Shigaraki three. Go buy your packs, but like like pay respect to the OG. And then I had two other characters. Uh, how okay. many characters did you put on? I have three total characters. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my second character. Okay. Um, because it's. Damn, three characters each? That's like half the set. That's <laughs> Half the set could print money. I mean, maybe. Villains are pretty popular. I'm surprised at how popular Twice is. Like, I thought Spinner would be super popular, but it doesn't seem like... just Maybe I know too many Ninja Turtles fans. Okay, yeah. I like that too. I think it would be a great idea to do an alt-art... Um, like Kirogiri, even though he's you know from a promo pack already, uh, doing like alt art Shigaraki one is an awesome idea. So poignant. If Jasko wanted to make a million dollars, and they may and be make the, the secondary market very mad, you make it twice. Oh. Ooh, I have. To yeah, I, I. I thought we were supposed to put like a moratorium on uh backer characters, but w especially with new promo distribution, everyone's afraid of that would be that would probably be expensive on the secondary market. <laughs> I have to go get four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's yeah, so bad. It it also pushes the idea of going and playing side events if these cards are on the prize wall, right? Okay. Yeah. So my print money, and and I say print money in the sense that like it would be probably the most expensive 
alt art character they've done that's not a chrome rare. Continuing on the villain theme is Toga One. True. Yeah. Waifu tax. <laughs> you gotta get the waifu tax. And Toga One is a way better pick than Toga Two, right? Like it's been a while since Toga One enthusiasts have had something to chase. And she is one of our regional winning characters, so you can't act like she's just a shitty character that no one would ever play. So, uh, we're uh, I'm watching Board State talk about what promos would print money for the RLE. So this was like the speculative podcast, and then we got hit with the promos like immediately after. So, um, but it's pretty much what would be good promos to make for. The upcoming OP season. Yeah, I think that's great. She wasn't even on my list. Yeah. Yeah, some that's... waifu art of Toga. Like you can make the Just background look like crazy yes. blood. Like you know, um, and 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 it would look good. And she was a playable character. She's won a regional. She's top cut two other or three other regional, being Shigaraki three. Yeah. Um, but I would not like hate it being Dobby two. Um, the other characters feel kind of weird uh, because they're just not as popular. I could see Toga 2, but I just don't think that would do... People wouldn't be as excited about that as they would be for Toga 1. Right. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Yeah. It, it, Toga 2 would be like, okay, it's the new one, but people would rather have the Toga 1, I think. I completely agree. As soon as you said Toga 1, I went, mm, yes, that's the one I want. Yeah, that is <laughs> the one I want. Uh, I think Shigaraki 3 is cool. I would, pl- I would play Toga 1, that character, more. Yeah. Right? I, I would, I'd be super, super in. Yeah, um, so. Cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get to the, to the list then. Sure. Uh, let's start with, I think, I think we should go, um, one, this is exactly what I want. This would, they would get all of my money. Jasco prints money if they do this, uh, back and forth. And then we'll do one, but this is what they're really going to do. Okay. Right. Um, do you, I think I started first or you started with Shigaraki. Yeah. 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 I stole it. Stole it 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 right from under your nose. Well then, and then here's what what I'll do. Um, if they wanted to print money, the, the reprint that they should do is one with nature. Yeah, that's on my list. One- <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I didn't even think of one with nature. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, I didn't even think about that, but that is definitely something people have moved from, like, a one or two of to four of. Um, Yeah, imagine if we had crossover art, Coda and Woodman. Shit. I figured you could maybe get like a Kamui Woods art, maybe like Coda, Kamui Woods, and like one other like Earth based character together, just chilling. But yeah, one with nature would definitely do it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, yeah. With, one with nature is easy money. Rounder, boom, crushed it. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I think one with nature, easy yeah. easy promo. One with nature was actually second on my easy money list, so I'm glad you didn't mm-hmm. take. You actually softball lobbed me the easy money one. Okay, all right. It's all just right. back alley haymaker. Oh. Yes. Oh man, I mean, back alley haymaker deserves better art, considering how much it's played. Right, like it's just the one shot from their fight in the alleyway. Yeah, I. I would hate to see a back alley haymaker reprint only because now I'd have to get used to seeing a new art. Yeah, back alley haymaker has pretty boring art to me, but it uh that would definitely be a really popular one. I wonder if we'll ever see a world where back alley haymaker is not just what makes or breaks those symbols. Because right now it feels really weird. Even Jiro on the good symbol plays back alley haymaker, right? Like it feels very weird to play that symbol without it. So you know. Yeah, those are those are really good picks as far as like these are the cards people need to have. That makes sense. 
What's up, Blues Fan 30? How you chilling, man? How you doing? Yeah, True. that card's a, that yeah. card. Like, if you go to UVS Ultra and you look at cards and decks, it's the most registered four of card and decks. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> that used to be <laughs> that used to be um, Hunt for Spiders and Dragons. If you even more than Revoke, like Revoke was close, but people had played as a one of a lot. Um, but if you go back to old UFS Ultra, if I'm not mistaken, the most registered card was hunt for spiders and it was like right there with revoke so that's kind of a crazy stat man uh it, they're talking about back alley haymaker i'm pretty sure and like if you go to uvs ultra and you look at cards and decks it's the most red okay all right all it's right, just all right. back alley haymaker yeah yes yeah, yeah that card's a, that yeah. card. And if you go to UVS Ultra and you look at cards and decks, it's the most registered four of card and decks. Hmm. So it's just, hmm. it's like people want it. Uh, it is amazing to me. It has it's. Yeah, it's not surprising at all. <laughs> yeah, it's super not surprising. And yeah, and the the only thing here's the only thing that's surprising actually. The only thing that could possibly be surprising is that it's a set two card and not a card from set one. That's the only thing that could be, uh, you know, something that would make me not choose it. Oh, Andrew's in the chat saying it can't be fixed. It was right there. Yeah, it can't be fixed is a foundation <laughs> uh, and is from set one. And back alley haymaker is actually getting played more than it, so that's just because uh, back alley haymaker has a third more playable symbol than it can't be fixed, right? But still, like having a zero diff foundation from set one, it that people have played four of pretty much in every deck it shows up in, <laughs> it beats that out. That's fucking crazy. And then tongue whip is just because Oswe players make too many decks. XR is not very good because it didn't get the full art treatment because it's an anime screenshot. Yeah. Uh, could go are fighting in that in the yeah, street. Yeah, that's all. What's what's a card that you're like, no, nah, but this makes sense. Um, so for this, I've realized that they like to do like they, I, we we get a lot of Bakugo and Midoriya promos, obviously. So a card that just makes a lot of sense to me that I think is just for sure going to be a promo is Ice Gliding. Ooh, okay, interesting. It do have Todoroki on it. People do be simping for Todoroki cards out there. And it certainly feels like a four of staple on at, at least two of its symbols. Huh. I kind of hate the choice, but but it does make sense. It does make sense. All right, let's see if we can get one of Tam's because I just wanted to get some context for reading the the article here. Ice gliding. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a good one still. I still think this is like a could print money one. Big deal. The order symbol plays that card really well. Uh, the water symbol. Uh, if I do this and then do this. Oh, he's trying to ring him on screen. I, uh, uh, not so slam dunk uh, in the same vein. I think it's just frozen slash. Um, okay. I think this card. Okay, so we chose two Earth Good staples that have a third symbol that is super playable, and then two Todoroki cards. I like it. I like the thought process, gentlemen. I like the thought process. Yeah, if you guys want to check this out, this is the Board State podcast where they were talking about promos that would be a good idea, promos that would print money, and promos that they think make sense. So. Oh, if I okay, I'll I'll do one more. I'll do one more because I didn't want to do like a full react Randy kind of a thing because I'm not watching it right. I'm not watching every second, so it'd be unfair to, you know, comment on it. But I wanted to see what you guys thought before before we read the article because I haven't read the article. I don't know what the promos are. I don't know what any of the new promos are. So. I just thought it was fucked up that the day after you guys talked about it, Jasko's like, oh shit, we should talk about these promos, huh? It's almost like the Board State podcast reminded them 
of stuff they want to do. But it's also t exactly two months before the regional, so that's a pretty good defense for having this scheduled to uh, come out. But yeah, let's uh, let's check out one more. So we got uh, Ice Gliding Frozen Slash. Card is generic enough to and want then, to... Ooh, uh, Showdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cremation. Oh, Cremation. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Damn, you got me excited on Showdown, but Showdown is uh Showdown's fucked up. Showdown's gonna make me never play a fucking high attack through all of set four format. I'm already on like mono low Jiro except for sound waves. And if you wanna fucking showdown me on sound waves, so be it. <laughs> Cremation. Yeah. Cremation yeah, is yeah, yeah. like is like a slam dunk into like into Dobby, into so many decks. Um, the card art isn't, it's not like one that like desperately needs a promo to look good. It already probably is going to look great as an XR, but, uh, mm -hmm. but cremation like is. Well, I didn't even think about cremation XR. I was a little sad that this wasn't a rare specifically because I wanted like rare foiling on, um, like just like the outside of the flames, basically. Like, I don't know. They do different foilings for different rares, I guess. Normally it's like just text box and name. But if you got text box, name, like all the outside stuff well, and then just like an outline on the flames, I think that would be sicker than probably an ultra rare. A lot of people are already brewing with it in like Chaos Ochaco decks. All Might 3 gets to play two cards, with, has two symbols with this card. Uh, All Might 2, All Might 2, sorry. All Might 2 has two symbols with this card. So, uh, And it features just like one of the more popular characters and is a very powerful effect. And I think again... an ass beater. Yeah, yeah. Card so that, that's my my print money. I this card makes me want to cite it in Jiro going second. I have like an all symbol Jiro. I'm probably gonna play on stream if anyone joins the queue, and uh, I'm thinking about citing it almost explicitly for going second. But it also does just qualify as a, a one difficulty action for. For killing people, <laughs> plus three speed for man is pretty good. So, um, yeah, this is a slam dunk choice for sure. This I would be surprised if it's not this season. It should be next season, right? Um, I kind of like staggered promo releases. I don't really want to. I, I maybe I'm weird, but I don't think that having like the standard version and the promo version like come out at the same time is cool. You know, it's probably smart business one. So those were those were just a couple, just to to get us an idea. There's a full forty five minute discussion though, so definitely go check out their podcast. Uh, it's on Andrew Holder's channel, formerly formerly known as Go Beyond Gaming. It's now just Andrew Holder, so go check that out for a lengthy podcast style. But let's check out the actual article then, see what they actually chose. Blues fan thirty says apathetic forcing. Sir Wait, are these the actual ones? Don't spoil it for me. I haven't read it yet. Don't spoil it for me if those are. Are these your? Are these like your? Are these your choices for what should be promos? <laughs> okay, so these are things you'd like to see. Promo Hulking Grimace would probably be pretty good. Hulking Grimace, the biggest problem with that card is that it doesn't look like an attack. <laughs> it's a 10 damage taunt. <laughs> Let's see, so the overview. RLEs are back for 2023. Starting season one, of course. One for each of the six regions. This is all recap news. One event per season with two seasons. Okay, so this was something that people had speculated about. Did championship season count as a season for RLEs? We have our answer. No RLEs during championship season. So championship season is what? Just nationals and worlds? Right? This is right when Nats was. This is when Worlds was. So championship season is not 
part of the normal qualifying season. I guess they'll probably have last chance qualifiers. So it looks like that's just going to be all the nationals and then world. So at that answer. Um, and then you can register now for webcam stats. And you can register now for Kissimmee, Florida. It is April 15th, so exactly two months from this, the time of this recording. Rising. Details are subject to change, hopefully. Participation after three rounds of play. Oh, they're actually giving you cremation as participation, huh? And effortless movement. So you're getting two different. Oh, so they didn't. They haven't actually shown off. Are I bet the promos are shown off in an actual. Okay, they're down here. But let me react to the way they look for. Um. Okay. So we got the chibi art. That's the first thing that stands out. We got cremation, effortless movement, which is a surprisingly fucked up foundation. Uh, this card surprisingly is it's worth two two over a turn. I mean, in a world past sands, <laughs> in a world without uh, stronger in darkness, effortless movement's pretty pretty schnutty. Cremation effortless movement will both be available on the prize wall. Okay, interesting. We have an action and a foundation. And oh, so these are okay. The so top 64 gets a toga card stalking her prey, which I guess she's doing the face thing. It looks kind of weird. Her, her fingers look super weird. So this will be available on the prize wall. And this is the new toga card, toga 2. It's got response flip. After they increase the speed, it gets minus three. So that'll probably see play on death. I don't know if... I kind of like it for life and water, but... Those symbols haven't had too much issues getting speed eight. <laughs> and then it's a toga enhance to flip and remove one momentum. to get a momentum from your discard pile. A lot of momentum switching in this set. There's like two or three cards that are just like discard a momentum and get a momentum from your discard pile. That have face up moment. And top 32 is not on the prize wall. And it is an attack. Okay, so we went action, foundation, foundation. Uh, tormenting glare. Okay, so this is a card I didn't see a lot of people playing. In Shigaraki at first, I think it's actually one of his best attacks. Uh, it feels very free. It feels like a very free attack. Um, even if you don't get the rival has three or more cards in their hand, uh, enhance. It's pretty decent damage. It, the minus one to the check makes me feel really good about drawing a card. So, I don't know. I also like to play quick draw on him though. So my my version's probably really low power, but really high cute shit, so. <laughs> but uh, as far as the actual art goes, it's cool if you like that style, <laughs> I guess. They're kinda, like these two have personality. They're like posing, you know? They have like wackier backgrounds, but these two, they're just kinda chilling. No, they look like Funko. Oh, shit. Oh, this looks tight. Okay. This looks pretty cool. What is he... What is he wearing on the actual... Did they give him, like, a suit color change? Or is it just more noticeable because the background's not... That's the same color. Okay. I thought for a second they changed his... His hands and his suit... To be like silver and gold. This is pretty tight actually. And it's an attack instead of a. I guess they were all attacks. I guess the champ cards were always Heat Wave, Detroit Smash, like that. Okay. 
That's pretty cool. Top 16 doesn't change the promo, you just get an ads invite. Okay, and then the playmat. It's pretty neat. Okay, so there's a bit of a graf I guess like a pseudo graffiti style. It's not really graffiti. It is kind of like wacky blended together backgrounds. Christy. These have I don't know. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with the dotted metallic background is. I guess it's just a My Hero thing. I guess it's meant to look like old school comic books. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just not into the super chibi style, but I like the choices. If you're going to go for all brand new cards and none of the really cool old ones, the update, cremation makes sense. You know, they're big, big on pushing Dobby. Dobby's a really popular character. Twice is surprisingly popular. I didn't I didn't really know anything about this character. But it, everywhere I go, people are making Twice decks and people seem to be big fans of Twice. And this is one of his best cards. Really good at using both of these abilities. Um, and then Stalking Her Prey is probably the real miss. Stalking Her Prey is kind of like, a, oh shit, we need a Toga card. It's a shame all these new Toga cards are kind of rough. None of them, none of them stand out as super great to me. They all just come off as like fair, cute build arounds for way too much effort, especially in a set where twice is just giving plus two plus two to stuff just because he played it the second time. Uh, and then tormenting glare, I bet uh, if it wasn't for vile seizing, right? Like this would, this would have been people the one people wanted, but. Owl Seizing looks fucking tight. I think this actually looks sick as fuck. The, like the red in the background there looks fucking tight. I, I don't know how I feel about the contender stuff. You know? I don't know how much people really like getting contender cards or being called a contender. But <laughs> it is cool they get something. Right, yeah, stalking is solid, pretty solid speed hate. It's just solid speed hate on symbols that aren't looking for that. So, <laughs> I guess this allows Toga to swap out rescue completed for this card to fit her gimmick if you're playing a Toga deck or any deck that really wants face up momentum. Um, I could see there's probably a better option for this through an attack. But there might be a world where like Todoroki 2 plays this card. Because he's like, well, I have a momentum, but I'd rather have this attack to get back, right? With his once per turn enhance. So I could see that. That could be a world that we live in, but all in all, it is cool that they're telling you which promos you get instead of them being random. Randomly assigned promos. I always hate getting random promos, but uh, bumping it up from one to two should make people a lot happier. That seemed to be a big point of contention. Uh, five booster packs just for signing up seems like a waste of everyone's time, does it not? Am I, is that weird? I don't think anyone wants booster packs, right? I mean, it's nice. I'm not complaining about free booster packs, obviously, but just. <laughs> It was like the difference between five booster packs and a third promo. We know what everyone wants. Um, and then this is saying the regional license exam playmat. Is everyone getting one regardless of which package they choose? Are they not doing the premium packages anymore? Like what's the price for these? Sign up. Register now. 30 bucks. So there's no $50... There's no premium package anymore. They're not letting people pay extra for more pro. Interesting. Okay. Getting prize wall tickets for main event is interesting. Uh, I'm really curious how the prize wall is going to go. I'm very, very curious. I'm very, very curious. Uh, you could pull an XR United States of Smash. 
I expect an XR United States of Smash to be like 30 bucks. <laughs> 30 to 50. Like months from now, 30 to 50. Yeah, anyways, so this is very cool. I guess the biggest thing is the vial seizing. Oh, they put vial seizing contender promo on top eight. Yo, clip this. Yo, screenshot it so you can show up them when you get to when you get to top eight. Tell them you, they owe you a vial seizing contender promo. Everyone, go here and screenshot this in case you top eight Kasimi. <laughs> they have to give out nine contender promos. <laughs> All right. That's my laugh for the day. I'm going to go play viewer games on TTS. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll look over the new events and the new promos that they came out with. All in all, I think I like the board state guys ideas. I think they should hire those guys to pick promos. These are not terrible choices. These are far from the worst choices they've made. Um, but I definitely would have been so down to see participation be Higaraki 1, for example, something like that.